Welcome to my second video in this series. Uh, now we'll take a look at the paddles. First of all, I'll show you the actual mechanics. Here we have an up and down counter, which is basically a 3-bit counter, which can go either up or down. This is the button for up, and here is the button for down. The way it works is we have three JK flip-flops. Here's the first. Here is the second. And right there at the end is the third. And in between them we have end gates, which connect to the pulse. And it checks uh, what the input is and what the output is and acts accordingly. Uh, in the description you'll see a schematic for it, so if you want to make your own, feel free. Now, the counter has three inputs. This is the highest bit, the second significant bit, and the least significant bit over there. And all three of them connect to this uh, MUX, which decodes it to uh, 1 through 7. And here we have the input right now, it's on 1. 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 7, it's on 1. And using diodes, I make sure that each position lights up only 3 pixels and only the 3 pixels it needs, so there won't be any problems. You can see here I use diodes. Uh, it's not very complicated, you can pretty much make your own. Now, let's uh, have a little demonstration on how the counter works. I've put the glass light at the top, so we activate the buttons and we can see the results. So right now we're on one. We'll go up and you can see the light changes to two. And if we click down, it will go down. Now in order for the for the paddle to stop at the lowest position, I've used an end gate. Right now we're on one, which is the lowest position. I don't want zero. And it connects to an end gate, which we'll see in a moment. Here we can see the wire. Uh, it's on because it connects directly to the input of the MUX, uh, to the 1. So when 1 is on, this will turn on. Now this goes into this inverter, which goes into this end gate over here. Now, whoops. Now, when... Uh, the position is 1, this will be off, and the end gate, the input to the end gate will be off. So, even if I click the button, it won't go through. Only uh, if the position is not at 1, so now it will be at 2, this wire will turn off, and the inversion will go on, and now the end gate will let the pulse through. The same is done uh, to the up uh, to the up button with the highest with the highest input, and this is basically makes the paddle the paddle uh, stop if uh, it's need if it press if you press down and it's on the lowest position. Now I've cloned this entire part over there to make the second player and added another strip to the screen, one for each paddle. You can see it over here. And using wireless redstone, I've connected a control panel over here. So if I click up on the blue paddle, it will go up, down. On the red one, it will go down. Uh, in the finished product, I won't be using wireless uh, redstone because I want to use as, uh, as little mods as possible. But for testing, it works. I hope you have enjoyed the video. And next time, we'll take care of the box.